On this tutorial, I will be explaining about render settings. For the render settings, you have the option to choose CPU or GPU. If you have multiple GPU installed, you can choose to render it with two or more GPU. Although, I would not recommend rendering with two different manufacturer GPU. I will be using Radeon 7 for this tutorial. For the sampling, there are not that much to set up. Max sample and noise threshold is where you will be most likely be adjusting. This sampling method is the same as default render. The more samples you have, the less, less noise you will have on the final render. Noise threshold is a setting where it will stop calculating part of pixel where they do not notice any noise. So the rendering will be faster with it. Per render use iteration calculation, which will render the whole image, but you can also enable tile rendering, which you can use lower sampling to render. Quality is a setting where you can choose which engine inside per render you like to render, which is full spectrum rendering. Full spectrum rendering is a fast render which is using Vulkan engine, so you can use this feature to check materials and lighting faster. Below, there are max ray depth setting, which is a maximum of ray depth that has to be applied on one part. You can see the difference by adjusting, let's say, reflection for example. If you set this to zero, they will not calculate the balance of the reflection, but if you pull it higher, you will be able to see the better result. Ray cast epsilon, this is a ray limit for a ray balance. If it's set to default, any object far from the camera will have issues, so change this to a higher parameter. Pixel filter is an anti-LS setting for the final render. For ALV, you can put check on what ALV you need for final render. After selecting, open compositor menu and set up a file output. Click on the render image or render animation to save the AOV and the final render. That would be all for basic tutorial.